Environmental groups have been left disappointed by the amount of money allocated to conservation in last week's federal budget. They've labelled it a bad budget for nature, saying it lacks uh, any new funding for efforts to save Australia's threatened species. It was a disappointing budget because what we didn't see was any new significant commitments to on-ground biodiversity conservation programs and those are the programs that we need to recover our threatened species and restore our catchments. Yeah, okay. Well, before we look into where money could have gone and what might what you might have looked uh, like to have seen, can you explain to us what the current state of the environment is around threatened species? I mean, I know that there is a an Australian threatened species index. Well, sure, the threat, National Threatened Species Index shows that our threatened species continue to decline at about 2% every year. Uh, Australia, like the rest of the world, is in the grips of a global extinction crisis, uh, but Australia leads the world when it comes to the loss of nature. We are a global leader for mammal extinctions. We are ranked second overall for the loss of biodiversity. So this is a really um, a domestic problem that we need to grapple with, but with global ramifications. Uh, there are Australian species that occur nowhere else in the world. Mm. We are a mega diverse country. So mm. species like the platypus and the koala, um, once we lose them, uh, they're gone forever. All species that we love very much and hold very dear to our hearts. Um, the government has uh, put this on the agenda. They've got very specific um, uh, conservation targets in its nature positive plan. Can you talk to me about what that nature positive plan is and what the targets are? Yeah, the Albanese government in its Nature Positive Plan released some really ambitious targets and those are really welcome. So protecting 30% of Australia by 2030 in uh, protected areas, national parks and private conservation covenants, uh, as well as ending uh, our extinction crisis. And so that will take uh, two key levers. One is strengthening our national environmental laws uh, and the other is investing in uh, the protection and recovery of our threatened species. And that includes investing in things that really benefit other sectors of society like our primary industry sector, taking um, biosecurity really um, seriously, uh, grappling with our invasive species problem because they're one of the major drivers of biodiversity decline in Australia along with habitat destruction. Mm. Uh, you mentioned there, you know, a stronger environmental laws and aligned policies to achieve some of those targets in the Nature Positive Plan, but you mentioned invest investment there. What's the max sort of magnitude of investment would you like to see? What sort of money would you like to be allocated in, say, the next budget? Sure. Well, at the moment, uh, for every $100 the Australian government spends on, uh, from, from taxpayers, less than 10 cents goes to protecting our uh, threatened species, our wildlife, restoring our catchments. Uh, if we could get that up to $1, 1% of the federal budget would make a huge difference. The best available science tells us that that type of investment uh, would stop the loss of our threatened wildlife. It would tackle our extinction crisis and restore um, uh, degraded uh, uh, catchments across the country. Mm. Is there appetite for this um, from a, a voter perspective? I believe there has been some research done into what Australians want and where they want their money spent. Uh, when we ask Australians how much they expect uh, the federal government to be investing in nature protection, um, the vast majority uh, expect it to be much more than 1%. So we're, we're, we're out of kilter with Australians' um, uh, perceptions and expectations of how much money the government is investing in, in conservation activities. I think people would be shocked to know that out, out of their taxpayer um, money, only 10 cents out of every $100 gets on the ground for conservation. How does that, uh, how does that rate when you compare to our, our global counterparts? How much are other countries spending on, on these sorts of areas as a percentage of GDP? Well, I couldn't ask, answer that question as a percentage of GDP, but studies have shown that Australia ranks in the bottom 40 of countries uh, investing in biodiversity conservation, um, which is shocking considering we are both a mega diverse country and a developed nation. Our federal budget is nearing three quarters of a trillion dollars uh, and less than one billion goes to much less than one billion uh, goes to biodiversity conservation measures. So what will, James, the impact of not investing in these areas be? 
Uh, well, we've got a real uh, conundrum here. All the, uh, the the federal government, the Albanese government, has a real conundrum here because they've committed to uh, delivering a 30 by 30 outcome. They've committed to ending Australia's extinction crisis, and th these are really important commitments. But unless um, they turn up and invest in these outcomes, uh, they will just simply be um, empty words. James Desires, great speaking with you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot for having me.